Hi viewers, welcome to Linux Kalbarkam. Today we are going to see about how to install PrestaShop on Linux Mint 18.3. PrestaShop is a popular and widely used open source and free e-commerce platform based on PHP. And then future of PrestaShop for small, medium and large business to create and manage their online store for free. Ok, now let us see how to install PrestaShop on Linux Mint 18.3. Before starting our installation, we have to need LAMP setup. There is Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Okay, first of all, we have to download the PrestaShop package using my duplicate command. The download is going on. After downloading, we have to extract this download directory using my unzip command. Then we have to list out this directory. Now we have to rename the extracted directory. Then we have to move the frustra sub directory into the slash or slash www slash HTML directory using my move command. Then go to HTML directory. Here we have to list out this directory. Now we have to change ownership and permission for the process of directory. Then we have to configure the virtual host for Presta shop. So go to site available location. Here we have to create an empty file named frustashop.conf using my web editor. Then change insert mode. Then add the following lines. Then save and quit the file. Then we have to enable the frustrashop.conf file. Then we have to enable the rewrite model. After enabling, we have to enter to the host file. change insert mode here we have to give our IP give our domain name then save and quit the file then go to Presta shop directory Then we have to install Composer. The Composer installation is complete now. Then we have to edit the php.ini file. Here we have to search memory limit. We have to give 256 MP. Then we have to search upload maximum file size. Here we have to give 64 MP. Then save and quit the file. Then finally we have to restart our Apache server.
after restarting your Apache server, we have to open the browser. Here we have to give our local IP or domain name. Here I have to give domain name. Here it will show on a process of installation version 1.7.3.2. First of all, we have to select your language. Then we have to click next. Here it will show on a license agreement. So we have to put the tick mark. Then we have to click next. Then here it will show on a system compatibility. Then we have to click next. Then here it will show on a store details. So we have to fill the store information. After filling the details, we have to click next. Here it will show database setting. So we have to fill the database detail. After filling the details, test your database connection. Database is connected. Then we have to click next. The installation is complete now. Now we have to remove the install directory. So go to terminal. Then we have to restart our Apache server. Then again go to browser. If you are login over admin page, click here. Here it will show on login page of PrestaSub. So we have to give email address and password. Then we have to click login. Here we can see admin dashboard of PrestaSub. And now we can able to use in this PrestaSub application. That's all about for installation of PrestaSub. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Linuxkelp. If you still need more video, visit www.linuxkelp.com for any queries to mail support at linuxkelp.com.